today we have come to Park Asterix here in France. Park Asterix is the second largest theme park in France, straight after Disneyland Paris. Park Asterix is based around um, Asterix, which is a 1970s comic by Albert Oderzo. I think that's the right way to, to say his name. Um, and yeah, so we're here. It's, it, and yeah, so the park is over 83 acres and has um, kids' rides here, it has roller coasters here, and it's got the recently opened to Tatis as well, which we're really looking forward to getting on. This is an Intamin Blitz coaster, so it's a, it's a very similar coaster to Velocicoaster in Universal um, Islands of Adventure. Um, so yeah, we're really gonna get on that today and just see how it compares really to Velocicoaster and see what they've done with that. Um, they've also got a really nice uh, B&M invert here as well, Azaris. So looking forward to getting on that and then seeing what other rides and, and attractions they've got. So far, it's looking really good. It looks really, really busy today. I don't know if this is the normal numbers for them, but yeah, it looks really busy. The theming looks really good as well. Um, so we'll see as we go around what we think and, uh, and how it goes. So far, um, the app is very, very good. Parking's a little bit expensive, but I guess that's because Disney's down the road and Disney are charging ridiculous prices to park your car. So I'm guessing they're just copying and going, well, we might as well. Um, but yeah, it's um, it's, exp it's expensive. It's expensive parking. The theming looks really, really good. So we're really, really looking forward to getting into this new park. We have no idea where we're going, no idea where things are. So yeah, it's gonna be a really fun day of just kind of exploring a new park. And who doesn't love doing that? How are you feeling? Thoughts? Excited. Yeah. Love a new park. Love, yeah. I love the feeling of not knowing where I'm going um, and just getting to explore. But then there is always the risk that you're going to miss something. So I want to try and make sure we don't do that. But yeah, overall, really excited to get in here. I heard lots of good things about the park. So interested to explore it, see what's going on. Really excited to ride to Tatis. Um, yeah, and just see what Park Asterix is all about, really. Thoughts? Really excited, can't wait. Um, I've blocked myself from watching any vlogs or anything on, on here, so it's going in like completely blind, just a brand new experience, which I'm really looking forward to. Um, looking forward to getting on some of the, some of the rides, uh, seeing what, what they're all about. Like Rob said, the theming looks really, really good. Um, I've did, I did do a little bit of research on like the comics. Um, so for what I've seen so far, the theming of the park really does like match in with, um, with the, the original comic. So yeah, uh, really looking forward to getting in there. So as soon as you walk in, Straight here at the entrance, there is a little meet and greet photo point here. Which, obviously, we got. Of course we did. <laughs> obviously, we got that meet and greet. Obviously, we got that photo, because we're a sucker for a character, aren't we? Love a character. Yeah, we love a character. So, yeah, we did. I don't even know his name. I can't remember it's his name. It's Asterix's sidekick, but I don't yeah. know his name. No, I can't remember his name either. So before we get our day started, coffee is required. So we've sat down, grabbed a coffee and a little Nutella muffin. Um, so we've all had, basically we've all had a coffee and a Nutella muffin. Um, language is a little bit of a barrier on this one. Um, I don't know whether it's just the cast, I say cast member, we're not in Disney. Um, whether the staff member just can't speak very good English or not. Uh, Matt did try and speak French, but it was quite obvious that there was a little bit of a barrier there. Yeah, so hopefully language won't be an issue throughout the day. Maybe it's just a one-off situation, but um, yeah, it was a little bit of an issue there at, at one point. So we're currently just sat outside across our, I'm not sure what, Diane, I think. Um, 
basically there's like a little restaurant bit when you enter into the park on the kind of main entry street and they've got like breakfasty bits they've also got sandwiches and stuff for later on in the day we just grabbed the coffee the coffee's quite strong um, which I'm not complaining about you I think you're a little bit unsure right now it's blowing my head off <laughs> Coffee's it's nice, it is strong though. Um, and we've got a little, little more thing. My palate will adjust in a minute and I'll be okay with it. It's just a bit like, whoa. Yeah, you're, you're predominantly using Disney coffee though, aren't you? Yeah. And I, I find Disney coffee like quite, I don't, I don't think it has to be like quite soft. Like baby coffee? Yeah, a little bit. You know what I mean? Oh, so I think the, I think that that Avatar at Disney is awesome. Oh, I love it. It is nice. Mmm. Very nice. Right up on the street. So we're looking at the queue times a minute ago. Yep. So currently, most things are between 15 and 20 minutes. The Woody is on a 45. And two Tatis is on the 70. Oh no, we knew this was going to happen. It's their new ride for sure. It's only been open a couple of months, so yeah, this is going to be a wait, isn't it? I don't know what to do. I don't know whether to start the day with something else and go back to it later. I was going to say, there. yeah, probably. I don't think well, it's far from the entrance of the park because I think we saw it, maybe. Yeah, we did as we were driving yeah, it. As we that, drove it, yeah. That is it. And when I looked at the app, like midweek last week, um, I checked it in the morning and it was like that, it was really busy, but then um, then I checked it again at about 3 o'clock in the afternoon and it was on like 30 minutes. Yeah, so I'm thinking... So I feel that like we maybe leave that until this afternoon. Oh, did you see that? That's not a back row ride. <laughs> five inversions without even thinking about it. Before you blink, you've done five inversions. What do you think of that? I think it looks good. I think it'll be, it's going to be a bit rough. Oh, I think it looks rough. Look I, think it looks, I think it looks quite old and rough. Yeah. It looks like an old Vacoma, so. I think it is an old Vacoma. Yeah. An old Vacoma tends to be a bit rough. Yeah. Not, get, not a fan of mine, Matthew. I'm not, no. No. I get headache vibes. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to leave that one for a bit then in case it gives you a headache? It, we'll definitely do it, just a little bit later I think. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I want to like start with that and if you get headaches and then it kind of then you set your day up on a bit of a dull one, don't you? I was literally watching the woman on the back row and she was like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I haven't done much research on this park at all, I kind of stayed away from as much as possible just because I wanted that first initial, you know, arrival vibes where you don't know what you're doing, where you're going, and what things are. But I have heard of this coaster. I can't remember what it's called. Have heard of it. I don't know much about it apart from I've heard that it's rough. So, so we'll see. Goodrich. Something. Oh, I think. Oh, Goodrich. Yeah. So we're gonna have a little. Uh... I definitely don't think I'm pronouncing. It. So I think we're going to start with Zeus. I don't know if it's the right ride to start with or not, but um, yeah, we're going to kick off with a Woody and uh, shoot on Zeus. It's got an hour wait for it. We're just going to go for it because uh, most of the stuff that we want to do has got an hour wait at the moment. So we're just going to go for it and just just wait it out and uh, yeah, we'll let you know what it's like.
just off Zeus. Well, I'm calling it Zeus because I can't say the first word. Tonair. 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 Return to Zeus. Oh, that, that might be what it is. Tonair. Tonair to Zeus. Return to Zeus. Yeah, maybe that's what it is. Um, I thought that was really good. I really enjoyed it. Did you? Yeah, it was really good. I thought it was really good. You get Wicker Man vibes off it, don't you? The way it, you do. The way it, the way it, the way it sounds, um, the way it rides. But yeah, the uh, the trains on it are well comfortable. Yeah, they were really comfortable, and I got loads of airtime as well, which I don't normally get. Yeah, on really. it was really I think good. That's because of the bar. Loads of head dropping moments as well, wasn't yeah. there? So absolutely love that. Yeah, that was really good. I'm actually really impressed. If I'm being honest, I didn't actually expect much from it. No, you? I didn't either. I thought, oh, we'll start with this one, so I don't expect much. But actually, it was really good and I really loved it. So yeah, if I can get on that again later before we go, we'll have another go on it. Because yeah, it was really good. What's he doing? And that's taking pictures. But uh, yeah, really good. Really good. Really loved it. Loads of fun. I really enjoyed it. Um, it was it was good fun. Um, I was just saying like the restraints and the way that they they go round you and sit on your waist. They're they're really good. Like and they push you into the back of your seat kind of thing. So like you, you are sat really comfortable in it. I like the theme in. Um, really liked it when we went down and then like into the cave. That was uh, that was really cool. But like like you guys said, you definitely get like Wicker Man vibes from it. Um, Oh, those rapids are really good. Really, really enjoyed those. The boats look a bit old and battered. It looks like they could do with some new boats on them. They look a bit, um, yeah, they look, they look like they've uh, seen better days. But the actual ride itself, the actual ride itself, the actual ride experience is really, really good. You get wet on it, it's loads of fun. Um, you don't get too wet on it. I didn't get wet at all, just got a little bit on my legs. Matt got wet all down his back and all, uh, all down his bum. So yeah, Matt got wet on it, but, um, no, all in all, I actually think that's a really good dark ride. Not really much, not, not really any theming on it or anything like that. But um, yeah, it's it's just constant, rapid, rapid, rapid. Yeah, it's constant. I thought it was really good. What do you think? I really enjoyed it. Even though you got all wet, I did get wet. You did get wet. But the night, do you know what? I thought I'd, I'm, I'm about to start going on a ramp. I'm not. But it was really nice to go on a rapids where the rapids were actually rapid. And we also didn't, there was no there was a gates on it, there were, were like 17 reminders to sit down. They just kind of let you get on with it. It was really nice. Yeah. Yeah, really enjoyed it, really good ride. As we're over here, I think we're going to head on to Pegasus Express next. What? Thank <laughs> you. 
Pegasus Express, that was really good. That was so good. Um, yeah, I really love that. Had loads of twists and turns on it. Really, really good. And then I loved when that when you go into that room, you go into that Medusa's room, and there was loads of um, projection mapping, projection which mapping I wasn't expecting, which was really good. Yeah. So um, I think the only way that could be improved is some physical effects going off in there. Yeah, I'd agree. But it doesn't necessarily need it. It was fine. It was good. Yeah, I really enjoyed that. Even though it's not really, I'd say it's probably a coaster, probably on the lines of it's a family coaster. Yeah, it's it's the same as. Um, 13, isn't it? Yeah, it's the same than kind. It's same kind of thing as 13, but it's better than 13. I love although, Lanka. yeah. Yay! Yay! Although I loved, uh, although I do like the the, the drop. Although I do like the drop on 13. Um, but yeah, it's very 13 s Although the actual coaster portion of it is better than 13. So isn't it? So much better. So much better. It's a lot longer. Yeah. Um, and I like the, I like the, um, the direction twist kind of thing. It's like you do it, and then you go backwards, and you go backwards for quite a while. Yeah. Which I like. Yeah. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed that. Yeah. Yeah, it was really good. I really enjoyed that. Whereas like 13, you go backwards and it's like they go, oh yeah, you're backwards, that's turning back the right way around again. You don't yeah. get much of a coaster, do you, on, on the return? It's like, oh, turn you around. We we're meant to do that. Yeah. Let's flip you back. Yeah, it was, um, and, then, and then that's the end of the ride. Whereas mm -hmm. this one went, went back a bit more. Yeah, it, it was good. It was good. I really like that. That experience was really, really good. Nice little family coaster. So we're just on the hunt for some food now because we're hungry. And uh, I think we're looking for chicken. Well, we were, but the one place that said it was open on the app. It's not open. Yeah, it's short. It's short. So now we need, a, we need a backup plan. So we've just taken the whole... Dropped your receipt, Matt. So we've just taken the whole queue, that queue we've waited in for 30 minutes. We've just taken that whole queue to decide what food we want. We decided, we've walked here and it's shut. So now we need to re-decide what kind of food that we're going to get. So we'll probably go to the burger place, I think, which is, I think was the sec second option. So we'll... Uh... Devastated, Devin. <laughs> Devastated. Um, so yes, we'll do that. Just need to work out where it is. What are you having? Chicken burger, I think. What are you having? Chicken burger as well. Better go. See if I can uh, order in French. <laughs> yeah, try. It's quite a big queue, but it seems to be moving quite fast. I lost my Duolingo streak like a month ago when we went to Orlando, and since then it's all just fell out of my head. It's chicken poisson. It is moving quite fast. Le poisson, le poisson. <laughs> Yeah. What are you having? That's the chop off their heads and I put out the bones. I can't remember what the rest of the stuff is. It says. And then Sebastian's just there like. <laughs> <laughs> So we've just sat down. I'm not sure what the restaurant's called, but we've ended up with burgers. So we've all got a chicken burger, came with fries and a drink. In total for all of us, I think it came to 43 euros. It's about 30, 39, 38 quid. It isn't too bad considering it's theme park pricing. Um, it all looks relatively nice. And we've got a view, haven't we? Rapids down here. Pegasus Express going past here. Pretty nice, nice out the back here. Yeah. You have to go through the restaurant though and just pop out the back. Mm. So we'll get this eaten and we'll let you know how it is. One thing that I do love though is the eco cup. I'm not sure if you're supposed to take this or not. I think it said you could. Oh well. All over the. Uh... Rob's also just pointed out, which I forgot to mention, the uh, reusable fry containers which I think is a thing all over France because McDonald's in France have them as well yeah um, it's really good actually so much less wasted I know it's cardboard and it's supposed to be recyclable but it is but if we don't have to recycle it then it's still wasted well, energy not, recycling it yeah let's not do it yeah because obviously obviously it takes power and effort to recycle it as well yeah of course so we don't have and to the stuff still got to be made in the first place for like a one-time use 
just opened up the burger. So it's got some kind of burger sauce on it. It's chicken fillet. It looks nice. We'll let you know how it is. Dinner was actually really nice. I really enjoyed that burger, the sauce was really good. So, um, yeah, it was a decent portion as well. That burger was quite big, so you got like a decent portion as well for the money you paid, I think. So, yeah, I really, really enjoyed that. It was really nice. Um, where are we going now? We're going to two tatties. Oh, we're going to go and get in the queue for two tatties. Okay, go with the queue. Um, I think it, last time I looked it was 55 minutes, I haven't looked recently. Okay. I've I'd just to uh, talk about that. That lunch, though, I don't want to. I don't want to over exaggerate, but I, think, I genuinely think that's one of the best steamed hot burgers I've ever had. <laughs> like, just because of the quality and everything. It's all right, it wasn't it? It was all really. It all tasted. All, I know it's just a burger, and you're probably you're all probably going to get on its frozen. But it was. Um, it tasted really fresh. Mm, yeah. Like it hadn't been sat there for ages. Yeah. Yeah. Really nice. It was really nice. Really impressed. I'm actually really impressed. So far, I'm actually really impressed with this park. It's a lot busier than it's a lot busier than I was expecting it to be today. It but, is busier than I was expecting. Well. Because we've never been here before, we don't know what their levels are like and what's busy for them and what's not busy. Yeah. But um, yeah, I'm actually quite impressed with this place. I quite like it. So, so two tasks have gone an hour currently. Um, mm. It was nearly two hours this morning when we first got here. So yeah, it was. We've definitely done the right thing. Yeah. I've got a feeling it's not going to drop below an hour though. Yeah, potentially, because it's, uh, <laughs> yeah, potentially because it's not, it's, um, <laughs> um, <clears throat> yes, potentially because it's new. I can't think what I was going to, I couldn't get the words out then. Ooh, there's a log theme over here as well. It's got a lot going on, hasn't it? Yeah, it's got a lot of war rides. It's got more war rides than I thought it'd have. I'm quite impressed. Yeah, cool little log theme over here. We'll have to give that a go at some point. We do have a change of clothes in the car, so. We do. <laughs>
Didn't need, to, didn't need to meet him. <laughs> he waved at me. Um, yeah, we haven't got enough time now, unfortunately, to uh, to meet him because we're getting towards the end of the day. I don't know where the day's gone. I really don't. No, definitely haven't got time to meet him now, which is a bit of a shame. Love this little boat ride as well. I'd love to have gone on this. This is going to be one for next time, I think. I do love like a little scenic boat ride. Awesome. Also, this restaurant is amazing. Look at this. It is crazy. Crazy, crazy. Walked past it earlier and I didn't even really pay much attention to it. I've just paid attention to it now. It's just amazing. Look at that. That is crazy.
How was that? Not as bad as I was expecting. Really? Yeah, on the front row, not as bad as I was expecting. It was rough, don't get me wrong, I would not have wanted to be on the back row. But it wasn't, I was expecting worse. <laughs> oh. Um, I thought that was absolutely diabolical. <laughs> Terrible. It wasn't good. Oh it my good. god. It just wasn't as bad as I was expecting. That was rough. I mean, I can handle some rough coasters. It sounded like Stuart Griffin though, when he's like, that's gonna leave a stay. <laughs> that's gonna leave a stay. <laughs> that was rough. Yeah, that was so, that was so rough. Those inversions, some of that profiling. Oh my god. It was not good. So when we were going around, I was on the front row, the guy next to me, and um, all I could hear was in the front like casing of the train was a screw. You know when a screw's come loose on something and it like it's like rattling around. Yeah. All I could hear all the way around was this screw like rolling around inside it. Right. Okay, it's not even <laughs> I thought there was gonna be a bit more to that. As in, as if, as in, like someone dropped a screw when they were doing some maintenance. Either and now, someone's dropped and now a screw, it's in, and now it's come loose. As if someone's dropped a screw inside it. And yeah. Now it's rolling around inside the casing. Yeah. Either that or one's come loose. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now that's funny. Is it through here? I think Don't it's know. through here. Just go through there. Let's see. So yeah, back to that coaster then. Um, it was awful. Uh, it was built in 1989. To be fair to it. So like an old Vacoma from 1989. It was. Um, so if you like old, rough coasters, you'll be fine on you that. Like to be ragged about. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. People love coasters like that. I, I know they do. I know. I know. But then some people prefer completely smooth coasters, yeah. whereas I'm kind of a little bit in the middle. I don't yeah, mind it. Too. I don't mind it being a little bit rough. That's absolutely fine. That's fine with me. I but, want to know I've been on a coaster though. But that was too much. Like that was that wasn't enjoyable. Every single inversion, the whole thing just like shakes. Yeah, that wasn't enjoyable at all. I don't, I don't think I'd rush to do that again. 20 minutes or no 20 minutes. If and when we come back, I'll skip that. Yeah, maybe. How did you find it? Not for me. No. When we hit the brake run, your face said, oh. why? Just why? Yeah, like your face. There was there was a part of it where my eyes literally went black. <laughs> like and we went over like one of the inversions, and when we leveled back out, everything was just black. And I was like, oh, oh, you blacked out on it. How funny. <laughs> nah, and like you say, when the pit brake run, I was like, poor choice. <laughs> <laughs> Should have done the Bob Sutton instead. Ooh, Zamperla Nebula, themed to like Vikings and stuff. Wonder where I've seen this before. Looks good though. I do like it themed up like this. Looks awesome, doesn't it?
<laughs> very good. That was very good. Very good. So we're just on our way out of the park, we spotted these uh, parked asterisk ears. I guess they are these, aren't they? So you've got these ones, which are oh, yeah. asterisk. Yeah. And then we've also got. These ones. They look amazing. Is that sort of cat? And it says park, park Asterix on the side it as well. Park Asterix Just on exactly the, side. the same as Disneyland Paris. Yeah, exactly the same. Yeah. Only these are 10 euros as opposed to 35. Yeah, they're, uh, they're not quite as comfortable as the Disney ones, I can tell you that already. But they're quite cool. Mm -hmm. And it's a way of, like, I guess, them combating. The Mickey ears thing. In a way, yeah, because if people like wearing things like that yeah. and you come here, then you've got your own version here exactly. to wear as well. So, yeah, no, I quite like that, it's quite cool. Um, fan culture, I guess. Yeah. So cool. that, I suppose that's the way you start creating that fan culture, isn't it? Yeah. To start offering things like that and start making a thing of your characters, which is obviously what they do here. Why have we seen these before? Oh, God. It doesn't work. I thought it might be like demo mode. Some bubble one. I hate them. I know you do. At least that one doesn't sing The Little Mermaid. No, That's thank God for that. All weekend. That drove me mad. Although this would have been helpful this weekend. The little, little fan. Yeah, it's, it's got a water bottle. It's got a water bottle in it, so you can spray water spray on you. Yourself. Yourself. Genius invention. So that's it then for today. Um, what an awesome day. It's been a really good day. I think it's been really good. Really good. Really enjoyed it. I was a little bit hoodwinked by the entrance when we first got here. I thought, oh, it looks a bit small. There's no big sign. And the entrance looks a little bit overgrown. Clearly, it's supposed to look like that, but yeah. it looks a bit overgrown. So I thought, oh, well, I'm not too sure what this place is going to be like. And it was actually really good. Yeah, really definitely, good. definitely actually, took me by surprise. Yeah, it's actually a really good place, isn't it? Um, so yeah, how, how did you find it? I loved it, yeah, it was really good. Um, I, I think there's a really good variety of rides here. Yeah. There really is something for everybody. Yeah. Um, their family coasters are family coasters. Mm. Um, nothing, I'd say like everybody, every age group could enjoy something here. Yeah. Um, so for me, that was really, really cool. Yeah. I love the theming, the theming is impeccable. Mm. Um, everything is really well themed. I've not seen anything and gone. Oh, they could have done that better. So for me, that's that's a really that's a really strong start. Yeah, I think wait times have been longer than we were expecting, haven't they? Yeah, yeah, they have throughout yeah. the day. Um, but overall, I think it's been a really really good day. Yeah. So like Matt said, I, th I think the variety of rides here is absolutely amazing. Like it's really really good. Um, all the different rides you can get on. You know, it's really really good all the different rides and stuff there's such a massive variety from like thrill like if you're a thrill seeker there's thrill there's thrilling rides for you there's um there's family rides there's junior, there's coasters. junior coasters little rides there's water rides there's like three water rides yeah. plus a nice little boat ride that you don't get wet on but like like a scenic boat ride is yeah. one of those like, like a story boat yeah ride. yeah yeah there's literally like something for everybody here jay what do you think yeah, I mean, I, I totally agree with everything that, that you said. It's been a really, really good day. I've really enjoyed it. Um, it's like you said at the start, I wasn't 100% sure with the entrance, but since it came in, I was definitely like, taken by surprise. Yeah. Um, and like you say as well, that you know, there's something for everybody. Um, yeah. I've had a really good day. Um, it's been a lot busier than I thought it would have been for a Unfor Monday. Yeah, unfortunately um, it has, yeah. I kind of thought, with it being a Monday, you know, everyone will be at work and it'll be a bit quieter and yeah. we'd be able to, you know, few times to be really, really short, but they have been a little bit longer than we expected, but yeah. I'm, I'm impressed with the fact that we've been able to get on everything that we came here wanting to do, and we've managed to do all of that, so yeah, really good day. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's been great. It's um, definitely a, big, a lot bigger part than I expected. I don't actually think we've 
talked about Azaris, have we? No, we haven't. That was because um, it started getting a bit tight for time. Did. And I didn't want to keep pulling the camera out. But yeah, Azaris, so what did you think of it? Uh, I loved it, if I'm completely honest. I absolutely it? loved it. It's, I'd say it's the best invert I've done aside from Nemesis. Mm. I'd agree. If I, if I wasn't counting Nemesis, it's the best PM yeah. invert I've done. Yeah. I'd yeah. agree. I think it's amazing. I'd, I'd totally agree as well. I don't think I could have said or add anything different to that. Yeah. It was really good. I really did enjoy it. Yeah, because it's not a new coaster at all, but it's still quite smooth. Like, Very it, it, smooth. It didn't have any areas where, especially when it went through some of the inversions and stuff, where it like whipped you around and like. It was like really uncomfortably whipped you around or anything like that. It didn't do anything like that. Yeah, it, was, it, was a, it was a really, really nice ride. Yeah, there was nothing like it was too sharp on that. No, kind no, of thing. no. As you went round, as you say, like it's not a new coaster, it's, it's fairly old per se. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was. It was really smooth. Yeah, it was. Really good. Really, really good. Really good coaster. Um, two tacits, how did that go? Attention <laughs> <laughs> so to Tatis, what do we think? Loved it. Absolutely loved it. Good. Incredible. Yeah? yeah. Really, yeah. I, I will I will agree. Um it's not quite Velocicoaster, it's not quite that. It's not. But it's not far off. I think it was really good. Yeah. I really, it's a really close enjoyed contender. it. Oh yeah, definitely. The last coaster takes it. I oh. yeah, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was amazing. More yeah. park, more parks need to get one of those. That should be answer are. to everything. Though. I know it's my answer. I know th that's why. <laughs> Both enjoyed it. It's my answer to everything. Really new ride. What should we get? Lost coaster. Put Lost coaster in. Everywhere. Yeah. No. It was. It was so good. Really, really good ride. If you like thrilling rides, yeah. that's it, isn't it? Yeah. It, yeah. it was superb. It was brilliant. I would come back here tomorrow for that and give that another go. I, feel I loved like it. It's one of those rides that I could literally, not that we ever would, but I could come to this park and just ride that all yeah. day. Yeah. Over and over and over again. Yeah, yeah I it's awesome. get bored of it. It's just so good. Yeah, it was brilliant. So much airtime on it. So much airtime. So much airtime on it. I wasn't expecting so much. No, I wasn't. It no, I don't think I've ever been on a ride that's had that much airtime. No. <laughs> <laughs> so much airtime on it. The launches were fast, the launches were snappy. Yeah, it was just spot on. Everything you want from a coaster. Spot on, yeah. yeah. Tutatis was absolutely spot on. Loved it. Absolutely brilliant. Same yes. restraints as uh, the last coaster as well, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, same trains, yeah, same same setup. Um, I like how it did the launch. You don't quite make the top hat and you come back and then you, and really then it and then it launches you again. Yeah. That was really good. I really like that. But yeah, really good. Uh, theming was amazing for it. So that whole area, I mean, we've not been here before, so we wouldn't know what it was like before that was built, but the theming in that area, I'm guessing that whole area has been done, the restaurant area and everything has all been put in at the same time. Like yeah. But that was that whole area is amazing. The theming was 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 spot on. The um the station was amazing, really well, really well done. And then the um, that di that dispatch sequence as well, yeah. where all the lights come on and the sound as it as it leaves the station. Yeah. I was just um, about to say about that. I was impressed actually at how many coasters had dispatch sequences. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, because Osiris had it as well. Didn't yeah, because Osiris, although it's an old coaster, yeah. the station doesn't look old at all. Like it's no. so well kept. Yeah. And I think that's something that stood out for me here as well, how well kept everything is. But when you come around the corner and you walk into the area where Azaris is, you walk in there, that station... Yeah, you're like, wow. That was doesn't it? It's yeah. like, wow, look at that. Yeah, it's, it's so grand. Yeah, it's amazing. This is definitely, excluding like the Disney parks and the American parks, I'd say this is probably one of the best parks that we've been to. I'd say so. Yeah. In Europe. Yeah. Yeah. We for have, me, go on. with all the parks that I've done only, like Disney, this one, and then the ones in the UK, this is at number two for me. Yeah. There's nothing can over overtake this thing. But but yeah, this is my number two. Yeah, it's good. Really good. Love the meet and greets as well. We saw Asterix. We didn't manage to get a photo with him. Um, but um, but yeah, so they do all of that as well. So they, you know, there's meet and greets there you can do. Um, like we said, there's such an array of rides you can do as well. So yeah, really really good. Lovely place. Definitely come back here. Yeah. It's really well landscaped. It's actually, it's actually really, it's, it's actually a really beautiful place. It, it is, yeah. But yeah, the park is just awesome. So if you're into this kind of thing, definitely get yourself over definitely here. It's, it's only two and a half hours from Calais. It is two and a half hours from Calais. So it's two and a half hours from Calais. It's also only um, 
uh, half an hour from Disneyland Paris. So if you are coming to Disneyland Paris and you're driving, um, or you just want to come and visit the park, you can. It's quite easy to get here. People have like got Ubers and stuff here, so yeah, it's easy enough to get to if you are in the area. But I'd yeah. also say it's worth making the journey for if you're not a Disney fan. Definitely. Yeah. Um, so yeah. So um, if you like this video, please like and share with like-minded people. Um, anything else you got to say? Let us know if you've been to Park Asterix and what you thought. Do you agree with our, our decisions on it? Yeah. Our have, opinions. Have you ridden two tattoos? Let us know. Yeah. What's your thoughts on it? So if you like this video, please like and share with like-minded people. Um, to keep all of our Disney doings and theme park shenanigans, please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. And we'll see you in the, in the next, next one. one. Bye. Bye.